Hello folks. The topic we're going to discuss in this video is mail merge. Mail merge, as you know, is the coming together of a standard letter and a data source. What I would like to do in this video is to take you through the practicalities and the process of merging the two pieces of information together. On the screen at the moment, you will see that this is my standard letter. I do have the address, the telephone number and the email, and I also have the logo inside the header information. After that comes the date here, and obviously I need to put my information in here, and then the body text of the letter. And what I want to do is to fill in the blanks with the information that comes from the data source. Now, first thing to do is to go and find that data source. You can see I'm in the Home tab at the moment, and the tab that I need for my mail merge is Mailings. So if I click into Mailings, you will see that the entire ribbon will change to reflect that I'm in the New tab. I always go to Start Mail Merge. And from that, I let it know that it's going to be a normal Word document. That gets Microsoft Word prepared for the mail merge that's going to happen. The second thing that I do is I go to Select Recipients. And I'm going to go to Use an Existing List. The information that I need to put into each of these letters already exists in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So I don't need to type a new one, and I'm not going to be going to Outlook to find information. So I click into Use an Existing List. Now, for the sake of this video, I've popped in the Excel spreadsheet that I want to use, come down with me, into my data sources. What you will find when you go to do your mail merge, that it will automatically take you into my data sources, and you will then have to step your way back into today's folder if you're doing this for practice and if you're doing this for your portfolio you'll need to step your way into your level two templates where you find your database now when i find my data source i click into it and then i click to open because i need to open the data source now you will see that this comes through with two options and this will be the same if you're using your database Remember, in your database, you kept all sets and you also give me four queries. So I'm going to choose the first one, which is to come down with me, and I'm going to click OK to merge the two pieces of information together. Now, it looks as if nothing has happened because physically nothing has opened up on my page. But if we now go back up to our ribbon, you will see that we have our Start Merge Select Recipients that we already had highlighted. But if I come across to the Write and Insert Fields section, you will see that a lot of that information now is black, so therefore I'm able to use it. The one that I'm interested in will be here, Insert Merge Field. So I'm gonna to click to my first start point. Now this is a proper Microsoft Word letter. So note that I have also included a space after the dear because we would expect to see dear space Joe space blogs, and that's the standard and the etiquette that I need to use. If I pop up to my insert merge field, you will then see all the field headings that belong to that Excel document has come in. The first one that I'm looking for is first name. So if I click into first name, it automatically brings that field heading in for me. Now I'm going to increase the size of the screen so we can see this a little bit better. What you will see is the name of the field, first name, but you will also see it inside what looks like upside down Vs. These are called chevrons and this tells me then that this is actually a field, a merge field that I want to use inside my letter. I press the space bar because there's always a space between first name and surname. And I'm going to come back to the Insert Merge field and slide down to Surname. This then brings me in my Merge field. 
I can see the field heading, its surname, surrounded by the chevrons, and that then brings me into my merge field. As I scroll down, I can see a place for starter, main course, and dessert. So I'm gonna take off the asterisk. It's only there to give you an idea of where to position the information. So if I slide down, you can see that I have a field heading of starter, and I bring that in and it becomes a merge field. I'll do the same with main course. I slide down and I've now brought in that merge field, field course. And we come to dessert. Now you can see there's quite a lot of merge fields in this. And the reason for that folks is really just to give you a feel for being able to go to your insert merge field and choose the right field heading to bring that in. So dietary requirements then, okay, that would be dietary. And I'll bring that in as a merge field. Location is our final one. So pop back into the ribbon, into insert merge field. And from there, I'm looking for location. Now I just wanna hover my mouse over here. Sometimes they're very self-explanatory, okay? So dietary was dietary, location was location, starter, main course and dessert. But sometimes you will find that the drop down field headings are not exactly the same as what you're looking for. For example, dietary requirements was only dietary in my Microsoft Excel. Click outside to deselect and I'm going to shrink back down the screen so we can see all of those field headings been taken in. There, that's it. So I can see my first name, surname, starter, main course, dessert, dietary and location. At this stage, I would then save this document. And that document then would be known as our merge fields document because it has the merge fields in it. Now to check that everything has worked, I'm gonna come back up to the ribbon. And on the ribbon, I'm gonna click into preview results. And if I click into preview results, you will see that the field headings or the merge fields have disappeared and they have been replaced by the actual text that existed in the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So it's dear John Manchester, he is having soup, beef and pavlova. He has no dietary requirements and his location was Millfield. Back up to my preview results. I'm now looking at record one and you will be familiar with this idea of records coming from your database. If I click the forward arrow, it will bring me into record two. So I can now see this is Geraldine Liverpool. She's having soup, turkey and cheesecake. And again, if I click into the forward arrow to give me record three, you'll see it changes to all of Swansea. When I want to come out of that, I then come back up to my preview results. This is known as a toggle icon. You click to bring it on, you click to bring it off. And if I click for my preview results, it takes me back then to my merge fields. What we need to do now is to finish this merge. I'm back up into the ribbon again and I'm into finish and merge. And if I click my down arrow, now we could go straight to print if you're happy with that, but for essential skills level two, we need to prove that that has happened. So you need to create yourself a new document. So we always choose edit individual documents. Once I click into that, that brings me up with a dialog box. Now we could merge all of the records or we could merge a selection of those records. For your level two essential skills, you're required to throw to show three records. So I'm gonna click in the from box. So I wanna go from record one to record three and then click OK. That tells the computer, merge my template with my data source. So now, if I start to scroll down, you can see the fields have been replaced by the text. So I've Dear John Manchester, 
But as I scroll down, I get a second letter, this time going to Geraldine Liverpool. And if I scroll down again, I get all of Swansea's. So this has merged my data source with my template. Now we're not quite finished yet. What I need to do now is I need to save this. So if I go to file and save as, I'm just going to choose documents for this. And again, this is only for a quick display. What you would need to do when you're doing your um, level two portfolio is to find your way back into your mail merge folder. Can you see it comes up with form letters one? That instantly tells me that a merge has taken place. So instead of form letters one, I would probably type in merged letters. And I click for save. Then we have our merged letters and a separate document then folks, if I come and show you your separate document, would be our merge fields. So we do end up with two distinctive documents. We end up with the one where I can see the fields in it. And then we also have the separate one, which was originally the form letters. And it shows me the information that came from the database or in our case from the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. That concludes our mail merge. Thank you very much.